I am gonna make some chicken people mad today, but I hope that you will hear me out. I promise you I'm really trying to help. I'm not trying to judge anybody. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. So I first wanna start out by letting you know that I completely understand how frustrating it is when you have a predator attack. And the tendency to blame the animal is really strong. I have totally been there. The last time we had a predator attack, and I've had a few, but the last time was when we were living at our other property and a hawk came and tried to get my chicken little stinker. Honestly, the hawk almost killed her, but Philippe really helped. And I also like ran outside in my pajamas with like a broom and a and a dustpan and i was like waving it and going ah and finally this little cooper hawk cooper's hawk that was like really bold he he went away um and honestly it was probably just hungry it was in the early spring and it was a very young hawk so i get it like the hawk needed food it wanted to eat it wanted to survive so that's what happened but it didn't stop me from feeling really angry at that hawk after it happened. So full disclosure, if you haven't already figured it out by now, I'm definitely a live and let live person. I don't like to harm wildlife. I'm not the kind of person that could just shoot an animal. This video is not about judging anybody that is not like me because I know that there are many people out there that keep chickens and they are from all walks of life. So, and I'm happy about that. I want there to be all kinds of different people keeping chickens. That's the goal. What I want to communicate to you today is actually that, you know, this isn't like a moral stance against killing uh, wildlife. It is really to give you information that when you exterminate wildlife, when you, even when you relocate it, if you're able to do that in your area, you could be creating a situation that is actually worse for your chickens. And I'm gonna tell you why. So I'm gonna show you things are not perfect in Chickenlandia. I also have areas that I need to fix. I've got, I just noticed a spot in the netting that an animal can obviously get through. Now I lock my chickens up at night, but there are certain times during the year, especially early spring, where animals can be more desperate than normal and they even nocturnal animals could come in the daytime. So I really need to fix that. One thing that I wanna make really clear is if you get rid of predators, but you don't fix the problem, you don't create the situation where you're deterring them and they can still get into your coop or run, then you're always gonna be chasing your tail because you can kill one predator and 10 will come to its funeral because you haven't fixed the problem. So I think it's more important and better, honestly, for your stress level and for the chicken stress level that you predator proof and focus on deterrence so that you're not always worried about a predator getting into your coop and run and getting to your chickens and you not being able to run out here and get to it before disaster strikes. So I know that predator proofing can get expensive so one of the things that I have said in, in previous videos is if you can focus on creating just more barriers. So let's say there's a raccoon trying to get into your run. If they have to like get through more than one layer of chicken wire, if they have to move rocks out of the way, if they have to move pieces of wood out of the way, piece, you know, concrete blocks out of the way, then you're gonna have more of a chance to be able to keep them away from your flock because really deterrence is key. I have a friend that what she does is she goes and gets those, they're like these things that you get for Halloween and when something, it's like motion activated. <laughs> so when something goes near it, it like moves its hand or it sings or whatever. And that is like another layer of protection that you can use. You can just get really creative with this. 
So this is the most important reason why I think you should not exterminate predators around your chicken yard. And that is that what you're doing is you are disturbing the ecosystem and you're creating a situation where there will be an imbalance. Now you might say, oh, come on, you know, there's not supposed to be this many raccoons, there's not supposed to be this many opossums. Remember, these animals eat rats. They eat rodents. They keep that population down. So if you were to get rid of all the raccoons and all the opossums and all the other predators that tend to come around chicken yards, what you're doing is you're creating an environment that is perfect for rats. And let me tell you, a rat infestation is awful. When you create a situation where you can have rodent overpopulation, you're inviting disease into your area. Because that's when disease happens, when there is an infestation. So I don't want you to have to deal with that. I want you to live in harmony with the environment so that you don't have to worry about those kind of things. My wish for you is not for you to be exactly like me. You don't have to have my exact philosophy. What I want is for you to have a stress-free experience when you're keeping your chickens. I want you to feel confident. If you want to learn how to be a more confident chicken keeper, you can click on this video right here. It's 100% friendly backyard chickens, education, and entertainment, and I know you're going to love it.